Hello family, it's Miss Brandon Porter here with Alka Living. I'm just giving you guys a quick video. It might not be too quick. Um, CMOS boss is supposed to be joining us. But I'm giving you a video about colon cancer. Um, if you have it, some things that you can take to hopefully get rid of it. Or at least try to get rid of it and heal yourself. Um, and if you don't have it, some things you can do that maybe will prevent it from happening. So first we're gonna just go over what is colon cancer. So um, we all know that the colon is the larger intestines. We have like small little intestines and then we also have a larger intestine and that's called the colon. Um, that is the final part of the digestive system. So that's like the last phase that the food will go through before you end up having a bowel movement. Um, the, it goes kind of, I might even try to draw a picture on here. I have notes but it kind of goes like up and over so it's kind of like just like a u-shape I don't know if you can see it it's kind of like that's like a horrible picture but that is the colon um the going up is the ascending ascending part and then we have the transverse and then we have the descending descending and then right here at the bottom usually is like your your rectum so like that's where poop come out like right there so that is basically what the colon is um what causes colon cancer so it's really unknown hi it's really unknown what causes colon cancer um they linked it back to like tobacco um alcohol smoke um alcohol what else um your diet which is a huge huge part of colon right if um, our colon is digesting all of our food and, you know, all of our food is passing through our colon, then obviously what we eat will affect the colon. Um, hi, how are you? So obviously that will um, affect the colon. So um, how dangerous is colon cancer? So can any type of cancer, first off, is dangerous. But the leading cause of death as far as cancer-wise is lung cancer you know of course people smoke so much and that's what causes um, lung cancer but colon cancer is the second most leading one so um, we definitely have to be careful about what we're eating and what we're putting in our diet what we're eating and what we're putting in our diet we have to be careful and if you guys have any questions let me know um, I would love to go live with you guys if you have any questions, if you want to ask anything. We're waiting on CMOS the boss to join us. And he's going to be um, talking about the colon also with me. He has some notes that he took and everything. So, um, How dangerous is um, colon cancer? So, I already said lung cancer is the leading cause. I mean, the leading um, type of cancer that kills people. So, next is colon cancer. So, one third of every person who has colon cancer is end up passing in like five years so it's a serious serious issue um, and it goes back to our diet it goes back to what we're putting into our body it goes back to our health and our wellness um, it goes back to our spiritual self it goes back to a lot of things so definitely definitely not something that you should play with colon cancer not nothing you should play with um, the pain and the symptoms. So pain and symptoms of colon cancer. Uh, colon cancer pains is mainly abdominal pains. Like you'll have like a lot of cramps. Um, you'll have change in your bowel movement. Um, and that can consist of constipation or diarrhea, either one. And then also um, you'll have uh, rectal bleeding. So you might experience like um, blood in your stool or something like that. And also discomfort as far as cramps, gas, or pain. So you can kind of be gassy too. That's um, some symptoms of colon cancer. Um, ways to treat colon cancer. So people who have uh, colon issues or colon cancer, they can usually um, change their diet, like eat lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. Of course, I would prefer the whole grains not to be GMO. You wanna stay away from GMO. If you guys have not saw my video about GMO and about um, soybeans, go check it out. 
that video basically just lets you know that GMO is basically a genetically modified organism, which we know already. But um, the soybean plant, they messed with the DNA of the actual plant and made it acceptable to a herbicide called Roundup. So basically, it's foreign. It's so foreign to your body. Your body is not going to recognize a, a normal soybean plant. So it's definitely not something that you want to put into your body. And, you know, people wonder why we have all of these um, autoimmune disease and where the body is like attacking each other and stuff like that or attacking itself. Um, it comes from all of the foreign stuff that we put into our body. So go check out that video. Um, other ways to treat colon cancer. We already know we need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. We need to exercise. Exercise is something big that we really need to do. And it's really important. Um, a lot of people don't take it serious. Don't take it serious like, you know, they should. But it's very important. Exercising is important. Um, watch your weight. Don't smoke and limit drinking. Now, if you do smoke, of course, it's hard to quit smoking. So work on, you know, patterns like maybe I'm only going to do two a day or three a day or whatever it is that you smoke. Um, just try to smoke as less as possible and wing yourself off of smoking because that causes lung cancer and colon cancer. So we don't want no cancer. Um, and limit alcohol. So how to naturally clean the colon. So if we end up do having some type of colon issue or maybe we're about to form a colon issue, we need to think of different ways to naturally clean the colon. Ways that we can like get rid of all of the junk inside of the colon. And it goes, it kind of goes into, on the back of my um, page, I have like some fun facts about colon, about the colon. And it says, one of the fun facts, I'll give you a spoiler. One of the fun facts is that your colon is never empty. And if that is the case and your colon is never empty, um, we need to flush it out. Anything that's in there that might have been in there for a long time or that might be stuck in there from, I heard people got stuff inside their colon from five years ago. Like it really is that deep and it's so it's horrible. So, um, the colon is never, is never empty. So, if the colon is never empty, then we need to figure out ways to clean out the colon um, so that it has time to heal and, you know, stop carrying junk from over the years. Um, so, ways to do that. We can do water cleanses. You can drink eight to six, uh, not gallons, eight to six glasses of water a day and stay hydrated to flush out your digestive system that will help with your colon also because we all know everything that we eat and we drink goes through our small intestines into our large intestines which is our colon so that will help also eat fruits with high water content and i have a few fruits right here actually a lot of fruits right here um, and vegetables that will help that has a high water content in it um, that will help flush out you know your system and that is celery, strawberries, watermelon, zucchini, um, peaches, oranges, cantaloupes, tomatoes, pineapples, cucumbers, lettuce, kiwi, berries, peppers, pears, mangoes, and apples. Them are some fruits and vegetables that will help naturally clean out the colon. And, well, it'll help naturally clean out the colon. What it does is just a high water content. So your body is absorbing a lot of water. Your colon alone, which is another one of my fun facts that I'm about to get into now, actually. Your colon alone absorbs about one quart of um, water each day. So if you go a day without drinking water, then your colon absorbs around one quart. So you're going to be dehydrated. A lot of problems come from dehydration also. So it's important to keep water inside of your body keep water inside your body um your brain is made of 80 percent of water your blood is like a certain amount of percent of water everything inside of your body has a certain percentage of water in it so you need water um you will die without water so basically um keep water on deck come on <laughs> let me in yes I thought I did, did I? Hi! Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? One take, soon they get the what? Oh, finally. How you doing? 
<laughs> How you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm healthy. I, I I feel good. You know, I had some Irish moss this morning. I you know, I'm on the go. You know, I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm ready like Freddie. You understand? How you doing? Hi. I'm good. I'm I'm ready too. I've been preparing. Okay, okay, okay. So what what you been teaching the masses about? Talk to me. Um, well I just went over colon cancer and some things that causes it and some high water basically foods foods that contain high water that will help clean out the uh, digestive system and the larger intestine. So I've been over that and then I was just going into fun facts about the colon that I had just wrote uh written down. So that's all I was talking about so far. You know something you know something, I, I'm glad you're speaking about this today because the colon, right, you know, it can hold up to 40 to 80 pounds of waste, right? And once again, when I learned this a couple of months ago, the 70% of the immune system is in the gut. So if you have a weaker digestive system, your immune system will be weak. Hippocrates said that all diseases start in the gut, right? So the thing is, I tell people, how you eat three times a day, but you're only using the bathroom four times a week? I, 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 you know, it, it's not correlating. And then people say, uh, it, people, you know, companies have the nerve to put on a beef package and put grass fed. And my thing is this. You eat it. It's a dead organism. It gives you no... Sorry. It's a dead, dead organism, and it gives you no nutrients. That cow already ate the grass, and it came through all the other rear end. So what are you getting from it? The only thing you're getting from it as a human is that it takes 24 to 72 hours to digest beef. That's ridiculous. That's horrible. And on top of that, let's bring it down to pork. You know what I mean? People get the beef bacon early in the morning. That's coming from a pig's stomach. And the thing with pork, it doesn't pigs. Pigs don't sweat. So when you eat that certain meat, the toxins that was in the body releases in yours. Yep. Yep. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, I know a pig to eat anything, so. Mm. That's another thing, too, that I was going to say. It usually takes food 12 to 48 hours just to make its way through the colon. So it already has to go through the smaller intestines before it even reaches the colon. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. And then if you're eating, like, heavy, like, meat and you know, things that take even longer to digest. Who knows, who knows how long that's even going to take to make it all the way through the colon? You know? and, and, and the thing is, like, um, you know, just to even think about it, because we've been there, you know, and, and God knows what we had to do for our body to get, get it to its right um, healthy uh, standard, right? Yeah. The, the thing is this, <laughs> right? So the thing is, is I tell people, you know, your gut is also like your brain too, right? It looks just the same too. <laughs> it, looks, it looks the same. Yeah. Look, except for we got to know not to eat with our stomach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the worst. Hey, what's going on, Janice? What's going on? And the thing is, like I tell people, you know, we cannot, as humans, we cannot continue creating the same, same, same things that our forefathers or foremothers have done. Because like I said, it takes 24 to 72 hours to digest meat. I mean, sorry, beef. And it takes 40 minutes to digest an apple. So how come the certain produce that feeds my body certain vitamins that I need is easy to break down? Now, don't get me wrong. People have been eating meat for thousands of years. Cool, I get it. But the thing is this, Time has shown us what the meat is doing to the human body. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because, you know, we have high blood pressure. You get what I'm saying? 
And there's actual things that can reverse high blood pressure. Salsap leaves. The tea itself reduces high blood pressure. Right? One thing I don't understand is that when you see in the church, after church, they always serve you soul food. You know what I mean? The fried chicken, the peach cobbler, the, the, the macaroni pie, this, that, and Oh, the, then you have everything. Everything. <laughs> Been there and done it. And then when the person gets cancer or diabetes, we blame the devil. Mm -hmm. Right? So anyway. And so, all boys down to our, inner ha our eating habits. We have it, to change our eating habits. We have to change our way of living. <laughs> right, right. And then, know, so, lifestyle. And, and when you look at people like um, Daniel, Daniel, you know, the Babylonians, they, you know, there's debating like, yo, you, you know, you got to eat the way how I eat. But you know, that wasn't going to fly. But, you know, for 10 days, we ate fruits. Veggies, he drank water, if I'm not mistaken. And he came out much more better, much more, you know, essentially the way how I described, much more vibrant. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But once again, this is a journey, people. I'm not telling you to quit your meat and then go cold turkey. Learn first. See how it feels to come out your your um, comfort zone. See how your body would probably have like a deep sigh. That yes. it don't breaking that meat. You know, I can eat so much fruits and it won't clog my arteries. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't get that. That's one thing I don't get. You know, and I'm thinking you here to be able to break down the um, the things of, uh, of colon cancer because COVID-19 hit and it gave people awakening. And I hope this thing with colon cancer opened up people's minds to get a testing and as well to subtract things from their body that's not giving their colon the uh, necessary uh, like um, nutrients, right? You so. want to know something that I found? You want to know something I found interesting? What was that? I was looking up like, you know, how do you even get colon? Mm. Like me personally, I think I already know how you get colon cancer. We already know how you get colon cancer, right? Mm. Um, but when I was looking it up, there didn't have nothing on how do you get colon cancer. It just says, you know, the cause of colon cancer is unknown, but we think it's tied back to smoking, drinking, and your diet. No, it's definitely your diet, unless it's hereditary. You know what I mean? We can have things that's hereditary because we go back through our generation so far back and they make me so messed up and that stuff carries over and it's up to you to make that change. But at the same time, it's like, if that's like the final part of your digestive system and basically that's what it does is to digest your food, what you're putting into your body, autom you know, automatically affects it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's true. That's so true. And once again, I like how you said, it's up to you to change it. You could be your worst or your best doctor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never heard no herb, no fruit, no veggie has ever caused any harm to anybody. Growing up, they used to say got milk. Matter of fact, they should change that and say got cancer, got acne. No real talk. Got mucus. They really used to give us like freaking milk cartons. Hey, did you see that post I made with the cow <laughs> right and you know that looks wrong because why that's hilarious it, it, it is but you know it's wrong because we weren't made to drink cow's milk exactly. we weren't you know there's a certain hormone that's close to insulin known as 1gf-1 when humans drink cow's milk that certain hormone releases and it causes breakouts in the skin like acne Right? And, you know, yes, people have drunk milk thousands of years ago. But the thing is, technology has showed us, hey, you know, this is not for us. Right. Would it look like drinking? Nature speaks for itself. If the yeah. baby, or if the human baby doesn't drink it or eat it, you don't do it. The baby has to be taught to eat that burger. The baby has to be taught to drink that cow's milk. What milk they run into first? The mom breasts. They're not going to the fridge to get cow milk. Exactly. 
You get what I'm saying? So we can actually learn from our own. Exactly. Um, and then on top of that, um, I also put next to that picture that the cow, the baby, the cattle only drinks from its mom eight to 10 weeks. Eight to 10 weeks. And, and then it's off, you know, eating grass and water. You know what I mean? So we look crazy drinking. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about hemp milk. If you say like, you know, cow's milk is not good, but what's about hemp milk? Put me on. So hemp milk is good because first off, we already know hemp seeds is good. Which I, ooh, I got a video too that I just made. I was at uh, Fresh Time and I was looking at their hemp milk, and you know it has all them extra added preservatives and everything in there to you know to keep it on the shelf. Um, but, you know, my milk doesn't have that extra added preservatives. It's made fresh to order um, or fresh per order. And it only has four ingredients. You know, it lasts about a week in the refrigerator. It's good because hemp milk is first off, it's nutritious. It Like, you could substitute hemp milk for, what is it? Like, um, Similac. Um, a lot of moms swap, you know, plant-based moms swap Similac for hemp milk because of this nutritional value. So it helps with a plethora of things, really. If you go on the page, you'll see all the things. Okay. I want to also get by here. here. I have a few things on here, but it's backwards, so you guys really can't read it. I think it's backwards. Whoa, that looks nice. What, it has potassium? Yes, vitamins and minerals from the sea moss. It helps with anxiety and depression, reduces heart, um, heart disease, benefits skin disorders, has potassium, vitamin E, magnesium, um, vitamin B6, zinc, iron, a lot of good stuff. Well, that's because sea moss is in it too. You know, I put the sea moss in the milk too. What? Girl, that's powerful because as far as I know, with the potassium, Potassium plays as a key role to make sure that we that our heart is beating correctly. And you know that's important. Right. You know what I mean? Just to make sure the heart is beating correctly. I never heard of hemp milk causing a heart attack, clogged arteries, strokes. I never heard mm -hmm. of it. You get what I'm saying? It's weird. But yeah. And yet here we have cow's milk. Cow's milk. And here we have cow's milk giving acne, everything else in the book, mucus, eczema, dermatitis, mm -mm. all the whole the whole nine yards. And you know, just to just tell you this that I gotta appreciate you taking the time to go on live to talk about colon cancer and as a whole, you know what I mean? We're not here trying to reach a million people. If we get one person, that one person can change your life and change your whole household life. You get yes. what I'm saying? So that's, it's all it takes. that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And like I always tell people, invest in health now so later on you don't have to invest in hospital bills. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, trust me. So, you know. Yeah, thank you too. Yeah, yeah, what you doing? You're welcome. You're welcome. You saw my video. That was that was for you too. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. You know, so, um, you know, you know. I just want to leave it with the people here that hey, look, we're not perfect individuals. We mess up. What's going on, Jody? We mess up with our diet. We have our weaknesses. Sweets is mine. My, my weakness, but not dairy products. But it doesn't make a difference because I'm not giving my body necessary nutrients. You can still live life, but however, make sure you're eating very wisely. Eat to live. Like I remember you showed me a picture of your, your vegan snicker. Um, what was the ingredients in that? Oh, um, yes. So that was just dates mm -hmm. with um, peanut butter or whatever type of nut butter that you prefer. Mm. Walnut and then just dipped in melted chocolate. Right. I kid you not, it tastes just like a snicker. <laughs> See? Right, you can have yeah. fun. At the same time, we're here not to chastise anybody. Just try it. Mm -hmm. Incorporate more veggies, yeah. fruits, herbs into your diet. If you have any questions, you can DM her or myself. 
and I'll be willing to help you because yes. there's no way we should live in a program society that only craves on treatments because how can it be medicine if you have to refill it? You know, doesn't make sense to me. A lady, she says she um, she took some steam wash gel and she never had to take an asthma pump again. But there's somebody out there that's still on that asthma pump using that steroids and what is it benefiting? It's just opening up their airways and then closing it. But asthma is just mucus in the airways. That's all. Bronchitis, pneumonia, the flu, the common cold. Yes. Let's get this mucus up out of our bodies. Mm -hmm. We need my health. We already know a second wave of COVID is coming and or the third, fourth wave, whatever they want to call it. But even if outside of that, you know, winter time is coming up, we gotta prepare. Yeah. They're gonna be trying to stay everything COVID nineteen. See, and we gotta protect ourselves, man. Hey, can I share this herb with you right quick? Uh, is this herb? I'm gonna I might make it tonight. I might. Um it's called <laughs> This thing right here. It's called Cheney. What is that? Cheney root. Cheney? Cheney root. C H A N E Y. Root. Cheney root. Okay. Cheney root. It's from Jamaica. So, of course, it's a bark. What do you do with that? What do you do with that? You brew it as a tea. So far as the instructions I saw online, you know, you take a piece, you know, you don't have to use the whole thing, but you can use one piece of the, of the herb and you can use it three, four times. What you got to do is make it soak overnight and then you boil it in water for 20 or 30 minutes and then you drink it. Okay. But of course, what, do what was that? What do I help? It's high in What's iron. High in iron. So people who are dealing with low blood count, or sickle cell, mm. right here, Cheney root. And this is very powerful. This is from Jamaica. Wow. Look at that. There's somebody right now who's in the hospital with sickle cell. Someone who's low in iron, they don't know what to do, but they rather go. I've lost family for that, from sickle cell. Yeah. This, this, this race, yeah, this right here. That looks so funny. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, it's actually like a root. Like, it's huge. Chain wow. You yeah. just break off a piece of it. You just break off a piece of it and do what you said, dude? Yeah, break off a piece, and then you want to soak it in water overnight. Go into online set. And then you want to boil it in water for 20 to 30 minutes. And then voila, you drink it. Now, of course, they said add sugar and honey, but I ain't doing that. It doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just have it raw. Yeah. I haven't, How often do you think you need to drink it? Uh, I haven't done more research on that. I probably have to, so I ain't gonna tell you anything from my neck. But as far as I know, they I would make like a big jug out of this, and I probably would just drink it. I just gotta see yeah. if I drink it cold or I have to drink it hot all the time. Right, right. A nice big jug of it, so you can do that instead of doing what is that Nutriverse stuff? No. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Say about that. This is what I believe. I'm going to stay in my lane, and they're going to stay in their lane. You know what I'm saying? Because every it's all a progress. You know, we could be right here, and next thing we on we, we in from Dr. City list. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you have those who will be in Nurture Burst, and they'll probably be doing something else and probably go plant based. But I do not knock the hustle. I get it. But however, if I look up any ingredients in there, which I won't do, because if I do that, it could be a big controversy. If I look up any ingredients in there, I bet you none of those ingredients is made up in the human body. And if it says something that's in the human body, it's a supplement. It's a copy. So supplements are essentially the vitamin or the mineral, but added stuff to it. You get what I'm saying? So if you look at vitamin D and you look at their capsules or whatever from GNC or whatever, vitamin shop, you will see, you but like, oh wait, what? Gotcha. 
I'm just saying. It's all science. Yeah. So, yeah. This speaks to what grows from the ground. Yeah, so yeah, it grows on the ground. It's chain root, man. Even my cousin is tuning in. What's going, Susu? So yeah, chain root is something very powerful. Iron, blood count. So. And that's something a lot of people is going through with um, anemia. You know what I mean? Mm. All of that stuff. Right, right. So the thing is this. Um, I want to be able to help people with that because there's no way... I should be the only one with this in my household. Just that, that ties back to the guinea hen weed. But I was telling you about how it cleans the fallopian tubes. It's anti-spasmodic, so it helps with muscle spasm. It kills cancer cells. Did you hear what I just said? It kills cancer cells. And to me, it's unfair, man. There's somebody who's dealing with those three issues I just named. And it lowers the blood sugar levels for those who are diabetic. Mm. So my thing is somebody in the house right now do not know about that's it. Like, that's, that's the guinea hen weed, right? Yeah, guinea hen weed. Mm -hmm. mm. Are you selling that on your website right now? Yeah, I am. But people are not really interested in it. We live in a nation where people are mostly interested in the trend. Sorry about that. When people are mostly interest we live in a nation where people are mostly interested in the trend instead of a lifestyle yeah telling you 20 2021 gonna be like have cmos written all over it all and over you need to get it out of cmos and into well not necessarily our cmos but it needs to be more than just cmos because if we combine cmos with so many other things like you're saying getting him we we could buy CMOS with that, man. And the thing is, you know? it, I'm glad how you say that. Because what I'm going to be pushing to the nation, you ever heard something called bladder whack? I heard of it, yes. All right, so you know bladder whack is high in iodine. What's going on, bro? Iodine is a mineral that's made up in our body. Now you be like, yo, yo, see, yo, what's, what's so important about that? Iodine, for women who are dealing with fibroids, <laughs> is linked to a poor, um, please DM me after this, dealing with a poor thyroid health. So they need iodine to be able to help with their thyroids and it could be able to help with their fibroids, but that's more connected to their diet as well. Right. But people don't know about that. There's women right now worrying and stressing, having fibroids inside their, their, their ovaries at the size of a ball or huge, and they're doing surgery. Mm -hmm. I'm not knocking surgery. I'm not knocking but yeah, these are the things that people need to know about. Like it's crazy. Sea moss is not the end all be all. God didn't just say let there be sea moss. Right. Right. So I'm trying to get people accustomed to it. Like you know. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we change the narrative one one step at a time. Uh, it starts right. with sea moss. So weird. Right, right, right. See, lots of work wonders, and then they'll be, you know, introduced to something else that might help with something else. So you just got to keep pushing and keep doing what you're doing. Even if they don't seem interested in it, keep going. You know what's crazy? You gave me an idea, and I'm going to share it. I want to come up with a, um, an iron booster. Because sometimes you have to word things differently. If you say a a uh, you know iron booster for sickle cell you know that raises red flags but if you say iron right. booster you know and you just put the little you know facts in there you code it people will be interested people who's dealing with sickle cell no and um low blood count low iron mm -hmm. and then you can see when they go to the next doctor visit wow miss such and such wow alkaline living alkaline living your blood count is high. Your iron is high. What do you take? Cheney root. You know what I mean? I would mm -hmm. never say sea moss is the solution for all things. But I'll never forget where I started. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the thing. You know? So, it's, it's uh, really interesting. This conversation really had me thinking. 
um, things that I need to do to be able to serve people out there. Because it's unfair. There's, there's, no, it's unfair. Somebody got to wake up every morning and have a scheduled time to take a pill. Or three. Three. And then yeah. got to go back to the doctor and say, oh, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, after living, is there anything else you would love to share? Um, I can give a couple, couple little fun facts about the colon. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so, like I said earlier, your colon is never empty, but your um, your rectum is usually empty. So that's just a little fun fact. Also, the colon absorbs one quart of water each day. About one quart of water each day. So you gotta, you know, keep your body hydrated, which also helps with the digestive system. Also, you know, keeping it hydrated, drinking your water. If you don't drink that much water, and eat some fruits and vegetables to have a high water content. Um, colon's about five foot long. And that's really all I got. I'm about the colon. <laughs> okay, well, well for me, I want to say this live was inspirational. Um, for anybody who's watching this, at the end of the day, we're students. We don't know everything. We do not know everything. But however, we're willing to learn and we're willing to serve all of you guys. Be and if you guys well. have any question, you could DM um, Aqua Living, Aqua I'm Living. Or you could DM myself, and I'll try to point you to the right direction. Um, okay. Just remember, you know, I tell people you could be your worst or your best doctor. Your worst or your best. And hospital bills, funeral bills are really expensive. Only take control of things you could prevent, and the things you have prevention over is what you put into your body. Right? Mm -hmm. So I love you guys daily. For those who just hop in this live, health is wealth. And... Go ahead and give them a closing. Mm -hmm. Health is wealth, and one tablespoon a day keeps the mucus away, like Simo Sabal say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, it's not a way, no, it's not a diet, it's a way of living, you guys. So hey, we have to change our lifestyle. Somebody got a question. Sorry for coming over. said, Do anyone of y'all know about G6PD deficiency? What is that? Let me look that up. I got my computer right next to me. Look that up. Sweet. What is that? All right. It's a genetic disorder that leads to breakdown of red blood cells prematurely. Um, treatments can't help now. There's no known cure. How does it affect the body? Mainly affects red blood cells. So essentially a lack of iron, because red blood cells is good for the hemoglobin and iron as well, um, which carry oxygen from your lungs to tissues throughout your body. Um, I need something for that if you have anything. Okay, so this is what I can do for you, sir. You can DM me personally, and I'll be able to deal with you. Um, and we could be able to talk more on that, okay? But, uh, yeah, this requires some research, which is no problem. Because, you know, once you research, you learn. Um, the first thing first, when it's people dealing with any type of illness or anything they're trying to, you know, figure out, I always tell them, look up the prescription pills that the doctor is giving you and look up what it does to the body. Look up the, um, the ingredients thereof and see if it's helping anything or it doesn't have any mineral that's helping with the, uh, for you to have iron in your body. And I always, and when it comes to the certain situation of the deficiency in your body, look up um, the importance of red blood cells. The same way how you could look up what is the importance of the uh, the airways in the human body if you're dealing with asthma. You know, what is asthma? You know what I'm saying? What is sinus infection? 
what is bronchitis? What is chest congestion? So if I was you, sir, or ma'am, look up um, particular minerals you would need for your red blood cells to actually multiply, um, and as well, a stronger um, iron intake, and what herbs and vegetables could be able to help you with that. What's going on, bro? What's up, King? But yeah, so I was good. Just gave me homework, and I think that's good to do. You know? Yes, definitely. What's going on, Brown Cherry Yoki? But yeah, so this has been a good live. Um, I, I can't complain. I, I definitely mm -hmm. can't. You know, so uh, I hope you have a blessed day, and uh, may God bless you, and, you know, hey, sleep with peace, enjoy. You know what I'm saying? And everyone yeah. on this live as well. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. You take it easy. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Take care. All right. Yes, definitely. No problem, you guys. We're here to do whatever it is that you need us to do. So if you guys have any questions, like Simo Sabal said, you can um, email or DM either one of us and sir, hit him up about that. And you guys have a blessed night.